Hello my friends, Takuya here, and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 video. Yes, my friends, we are back in the world of Kaiser Redux, the world in which Germany won World War I. Except this mod has everything where the world is still extremely topsy-turvy and things go to shit way quicker than you'd anticipate. And on today's episode, what we are going to be doing is continuing with our A to Z playthrough. I went and put out a poll on my community page, and you all said that that is what you wanted to see, though Old World Blues was fairly close behind. We're going to be doing that here in the future. If you all remember several weeks, in fact, I almost think it was a month ago, we did Bolivia here, which that was an absolute nightmare. And we're um we're still sticking with South America, my friends. Still in the bees, we got Brazil, a land filled with highly attractive women, high statues of Jesus, and also an exceptionally high crime rate. Brazil is um that's an extremely broken state here from the beginning. That's that's not fun. Oh dear God, the United States of Brazil has always prized the autonomy of its states. Each has its own president and its own political parties and its own military. It's quite literally what would happen if the Articles of Confederation became a country for the United States. But it's Brazil, so it's even more broken. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into things and see if we can give South America a nice old BBL. Now, from the beginning, Brazil doesn't really seem to have any kind of meme paths or fun things that are associated with it, but it does have a fairly extensive focus tree what we can see from the beginning. There's a lot of stuff here to modernize the military because for whatever reason, it just, it, it, it doesn't seem to have a good one. A little bit of stuff for the Air Force, a little bit of stuff for the Navy, not all that much here, but then it has a lot of different paths that you could potentially take when it comes to politics. These are all the four standard ones. You have, you know, the Democratic, you have the kind of socialist, but still social democratic one, just pure liberal. You got the liberal democratic, like market liberals, you know, just all the, the, the standard stuff. And then you got the spicy ones. Like, okay, you got three different variants of what we could do here with communism, uh, but then simultaneously, the more extensive focus tree, the biggest focus tree in this appears to be the monarchist one, which is tied to national populist. It's it's fascist monarchist. Well, that seems kind of odd. What other kinds of things are in this? We get criminal. <laughs> Okay, so the fascist monarchists want to criminalize racism. Buddy, this is beautiful. You know what? I think I found what we're going to do. We're going to do this and we're going to do it right, folks. We're going to end racism. We're going to do it as Brazil. The only state that has the right to do so in this situation. So, all right, first things first, we see down here we could get a research slot. So I'm going to go with military equipment and get industry bonuses and start boosting myself up here. Clothes, food, shoes, guns. If an instrument needs something, chances are Brazil cannot supply that thing properly to its soldiers. Changing this sad state of affairs while an admiral goal will be expensive. Yeah, we're going to have to do that here for a while. And since Black Monday is going to hit, even though we actually start out with a fairly decent economy, we're going to need to largely focus on infrastructure here in the beginning just to kind of boost our state up to be able to do things. Research-wise, three research slots, not bad, but we are going to need to improve our weapons off the get-go, and simultaneously, we're going to have a lot of stuff to research, so let's get all this going pretty quick. Basic machine tools, yep, get that started. Military industry-wise, we start out with eight mills, the first state of this size. That is actually pretty decent to do in the beginning. We are going to need a lot of guns, so yeah, we're going to do that, but then also simultaneously, we are going to need, I'm sure, a ton of artillery, so we're going to need that here as well. Go ahead and put two on you, two on support equipment, and yeah, this seems like a pretty decent base to start out with and then we'll also get some uh, civilian trains when we can start out with only what like five divisions not six all right we'll set those up for defensive orders and really we don't need to be concerned too much here with that right now and my friends let's go ahead and begin the united states of brazil brazil's neutrality in the world creek kept the country at peace with stability until the economic collapse following the crisis and its made trade partners after the british revolution this period of turmoil came to a head as the balance at play was put in jeopardy after both sao paulo and minas Gerais both launched their own candidates for the 1926 elections. The stage was set for a major crisis and thus began the interstate war, also referred to as the civil war. So yeah, they, um, they burned their country to the ground and then a bunch of oligarchs took over and people are not happy about it. And the country has been broken ever since here, it seems. Ah, oh, God, that is actually awful. Okay, well, continuing on, a priest dies and we immediately lose stability. Nice. The Carlos regime in neighboring Argentina in the past few weeks have been troublesome at best. And after a coup d'etat during Christmas, the rat, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Argentina, they, all, all, all this shit where the country is divided. Um, issue no statement, political power, we can support them or we can hurt them. Um, you know what? Support it. We'll, we'll keep them kind of friendly down here. I don't really care. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, there's Black Monday. There's the, the fun that begins with each one of these games. I'm going to hold off on selecting this because if I can hold off for even like, what, 11 more days? That's 11 more days of slightly better construction that I get. So it's fine. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Dinatist uprising quashed. After several days of discontent, the barracks in Porto Alegre have risen in revolt and they were severely punished for their treason. A regrettable symptom of the trying times we live in. Minus three. Whoa. Hey, I'm just now starting to get my political power going. What the hell is this? 
I mean, I guess at least we crushed the uprising. Go ahead and build state arsenals, build more state arsenals. That'll give me more mill equipment. And then, yeah, we're going to work our way down to the research slot. General strike. Oh my God. A general strike has been called in Rio de Janeiro by several categories, including tram and railway workers. While adherence to the strike has been limited, the barricades and disturbances have been reported. Even if not really close to the city centers, the army has been sent to aid local forces in restoring order, which is going to hurt me for a year. Or no, no, a month. Great. Okay. Well, okay. Not the worst. Not, not the worst. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's, who needs production? God damn it. Who needs production, as I said? Julius elected as... Wait, what? Catholic faithful in Rome breathe a sigh of relief as the Sistine Chapel's chimney fall forth with white smoke. Wait, I haven't seen this guy here before. Julius the, the, the fourth. What? Oh my God. The papacy is... The, you know what? We're going to have a ton of fun when we actually get to play this. It's normally Pope Pius, isn't that? There's options for popes. What? Promote order, a call to the faithful, weekly manpower, whole... Whoa, wait a minute. What? There's a holy war option? Oh, that's the aggressive part. Okay. Oh man, I, I can't wait for us to actually reach P, but it's going to it's gonna take a long time for us to be able to reach P. Ah, the Portuguese Colonial Fair. The King of Portugal has opened up a colonial fair in Rio de Janeiro to celebrate the bonds between Brazil and Portugal. While some leftists claim it is a shameless propaganda move by the colonialist state, Portuguese officials insist the exhibition is purely scientific in nature and seeks to educate the people on Portugal's mission to civilize the dark continent by comparing its colonies to those under German rule with frequent frequency or with great frequency. Said frequent comparisons have drawn the ire of German ambassador to Brazil as he claims they are slanderous claims on the Governor Goring's upstanding character. Regardless of the political controversies, the many trinkets, objects, and even African kings brought are bound to bring people in large numbers to see the fair's many curiosities. What? <laughs> Portugal, what are you doing, buddy? Return of the coffee fire is just like the past decade, our coffee piles up with nobody to buy it. The solution found by state governments is to burn the surplus of the harvest in large fires to keep prices from utterly and completely collapsing again. This is certainly an extreme measure, but Black Monday disaster's impact is far from over and dark times are ahead. We're just burning all the shit that we're... This is so wasteful. This is so wasteful. Wait, what the hell? Tenants, didn't I just do this? Wait, more. Oh no, it's going to get worse. More barracks have risen up in revolt, this time in Salvador. The local garrison demanded fairer prices and a better democracy, but said vague demands were silenced by loyalists who stormed their barricaded living quarters. Oh, okay. That's, I have a feeling it's going to keep on happening. And an anarchist uprising <laughs> wouldn't be Brazil without it. Okay, that's military engineering advancements. We got another research slot. I don't need this other bonus for industry right now. It's probably not going to help me necessarily very much, uh, especially since I'm still behind on other tech and I'm not, I, 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 I don't need to worry about this here just yet. So let's see. Next thing, unite the army. Fed uh, yeah, this allows us to fix our military. Okay, we are going to bridge the gap over here and we're going to help on this side. Vargas announces Republic. Oh God, it's getting even more candidates for all these things okay so that's the republican one uh this is the left wing one and now the presidential candidates are announced for the aib ah oh, this is the national populist one the brazilian integralist movement is eclectic in nature but recent years have settled it as a monarchist lusitanian inspired party that defends catholic values and with great participation from the poor especially from the afro brazilians wait so the black brazilians love the monarchy okay said participation and commitment to racial equality is represented by their candidate to the presidency and prospective nominee are Lindo Vega dos Santos, a deeply monarchist intellectual who denounces the leaders of the Republic as former slave lords who just masked themselves under new guises. Oh my God, it's the national populist. It's like, it's like not even fascist, right? It's the national populist monarchist and it's a movement led by Afro-Brazilians, it seems. There's another guy who is extremely anti-Semitic who claims the capitalist classes of Brazil are puppets of the elders of Zion. Okay. And another potential nominee is Plindo Salgo, who is more in the middle from everything. No, dude, Dude, I'm going with the anti-racist. Santos, take charge. I want a black monarchy. If I can get that as Brazil, a black monarchy, I will take it. Tenetus of not another one. Yet more revolts. I'm just losing all my stability. More tenants, even more. Oh my God, tenant stability and 100 political power. I can't, I can't generate anything, man. All right, this is equipment. Now it's time to unite the army. Uh, uniting the army under federal control is deeply politically costly endeavor. Consider your options wisely. Yeah, yeah, I could see that's going to really hurt me stability wise, but I don't think that matters at this point, to be honest. 
Our army traditionally has been more decentralized than even the state itself. With local regiments and militias operating in nearly independent fashion from each other, the Civil War broke almost all semblance of federal authority over the army. And now our forces are truly a mess of commanders and officers. Serious steps must be taken to overcome this, no matter the political... Yeah, I gotta fix it. Dude, I don't care about stability. I I'm Brazil. I'm not exactly the greatest mark of stability now, am I? Wait, the soldier prince saves Afghanistan. What was this? Arriving in Afghanistan weeks, Muhammad Nir Khan has returned to free the nation from the clothes of the bandit king. Oh, hey, stability. Wow, Afghanistan actually came back from the brink of death. And now it's time for the federal election of 1936. The day of decision has arrived. You can choose between the social conservatives, the social liberals, we got the national populists, and we got the, the social democrats. Well, <laughs> you already know we're going with the anti-racist monarchist, of course. What screams I'm not a racist, like quashing all the peasants beneath you like equal bugs? With Unite the Army, that means you can finally do the federal army, and yeah, this is going to hurt us, but you know what? It's going to remove the worst of the effects that we need, and we have to get this strength in here if we're going to finish off racism around the world, damn it. Arlindo Vega dos Santos takes office. Viva Brazil! Yes, change in popularity of national populism, 20%. Hey, that's pretty good. That means we finish off the regency, and with the regency done, I can get the federal army fixed, and then... <laughs> <laughs> immediately start trying to fix my country. Another set of dude, guys, would you please just calm the hell down? Look, we're finally getting some real change in this damn country already. I'm down to zero stability, which means I'm now down to minus 30. Okay, that's that's simply a lovely. I, lo I, I love it. Moving on from that, even though the rest of this will fix the army and this will give me a bunch of trade resources, I instead have to go down here and start fixing up my country. First thing we're we'll probably gonna have to aim for is all the things that are going to boost national populism plus give me political authority to be able to do things. So woo the northern Coronés. The Coronés are simple, albeit influential people. They can be bought for very little, and their loyalty is very much valuable to the aspiring monarchy. Yep, let's boost all the support of ourselves within the country. Meeting with the industrialists. Do we want to take a soft approach or a hard approach? Eh, you know what? Who needs a little extra stability? I'm already at minus 28, and this will give me more political power. <laughs> I don't care. Officialized church support because the clergy now stands fully behind us and our efforts to make the nation everything that it's supposed to be. The new Brazil, with the blessing of Our Lady, will be one nation under God. That is right. Hold on. So we are anti-racist, religious, firmly... Ca are we anti-racist crusaders? We are going to be black, anti-racist crusaders. Dude, I'm loving this. It's like an alternate history Catholic wet dream. Armed smugglers captured. Gee, yeah, I don't need a bunch of cheap guns here. Just give me more political power. With 100 political power, that means we can now switch over from civilian to early mobilization, which should at least help me produce a little bit more stuff. Let's go ahead and get that done. Because Lord knows I'm going to lose any political power that I gain here immediately because... <laughs> The nation doesn't want to seem to stabilize. And the second American Civil War begins. That's fun. We get our propaganda. We get massive rallies going in support of the government. Excellent. Oh, with the Civil War in the USA, America has devolved into Civil War. A cruel coup, the voice of the people unheard, the Great Republic fallen, and now we are the greatest nation in the hemisphere. So it's our duty to save the Union, support the federal government, protect the common folk, and support the Union state, or say we don't care. I don't want to lose all my political power. I'm going to support the Union state. I don't want the federal government, because if the federal government wins, that means they're going to become way more involved in things. The Union State, if I recall correctly, under Huey Long is way more isolationist. It might interfere with my plans if they go with something different. So we are going to support the Union State and send them some old guns. The world already seems to be going to shit, so I think it's important at this point that we start flushing out a little bit of a military. Get that going here. Yep, yep, world, world going to shit. As I said, but in the world of feces, you know what's not shit? The Empire of Brazil. His Imperial Majesty Peter III lies ready to receive his crown, as Brazil once again becomes what it was always meant to be, a monarchy. Only final preparations need to be taken, such as organizing the coronation itself and restoring the palaces his majesties will live in, and we might be... Or no, and then we can begin. The empire has come back to life with its full power and might intact. That's right. Wait, what's this? Rondon's objections. Marshal Candido Rondon has always been an explorer first and a general second, but always a staunch Republican. He's been on an expedition since before the elections, and he arrived back in civilization just recently. He was appalled by the prospect of the return of the monarchy, and it is publicly condemning our government. While the man is old and not politically connected, he is very well regarded by the public, especially the military. So retaliation must be measured carefully. We must take some kind of action. Uh, uh, no, I don't want to lose stability, but gain political power. We're going to take a soft approach. If he's going to die soon anyway, who cares? Oh, but now we have 100 political power. That means partial mobilization. Get that done. The basis of restoration. As we endeavor towards restoring monarchy as an institution and the empire as a whole, a first principle must be recognized. The restoration has a legal basis. The will of the people brought the AIB into power, and the army has no mandate from the masses to depose his imperial majesty in 1889. We are simply righting a wrong that should never have happened. However, such a matter is easier said than done, as Republic lies were spread far and wide. Our loyalists hunted down and our legacy tarnished. The quest to bring 
Brazil back to its former glory begins now. The Imperial Coronation, and wait, there actually seems to be two different options. As we make our final preparations for Sword of the Empire, some within our ranks still support the claim of the Petropolis branch over the Vasudis line, led by Dom Enrique. Dom Gastão has made his rival claim to the throne apparent despite his father's renunciation of said title three decades ago. Both sides hold a convincing argument over who should become the emperor, but it is Arlindo Vega de Santos who has the final say. Well, we're going with Pedro, of course. It is the, we're restoring the rightful monarchy here. Dom Pedro in charge. And here he is, Pedro III, the nationalist symbol. Ooh, bonus attack on core territory, as well as more stab and war support. That's nice. Okay, I will take that. And I also have political power to spend. So let's go ahead and get that done. Chief of the army. Yep, yep. We're going to want to start getting some ticking army experience going. And with that complete, that now means that we have the option to start fixing up our country. Corporate power is going to get rid of Black Monday. So we're going to beeline for that. And then after that, uh... <laughs> ah, we're gonna need to stabilize politics a little bit. Healing the chaos first. That's gonna remove Wake of the War, which is gonna help us. And as soon as we have 100 political power, we're gonna go over here and send in the army because we need to start boosting our stability as soon as possible and get that actually going. The more stab that we get, the better it's going to be for us because we need to start actually producing large amounts of equipment. Yep, yeah, there goes Argentina bursting into flames down to the south. A monument to Our Lady of Aparecida. Our Lady of Aparecida, despite being a massively popular saint and patron of Brazil, lacks a proper place to honor it on our nation. For the Republicans, only themselves were worthy of worship. We must ensure that Our Lady is honored. Dude, I'm telling you this right now. Catholic anti-racist crusade. Of course we're doing that. Build massive cathedrals all over Brazil. God wills it. The prince visits the kingdom of Canada. Hey, hey, we're going around and visiting a lot of stuff. That's nice. Some royal exploration. Yes. All right, with corporate power done, that's going to help boost our economy. Next up after that, curb state power. No, one nation. The pandemic idea of the separation of the church from temporal power is nothing but proto syndicalist drivel. The church is the heart and soul of our nation from its inception to these dark times. And leaving it outside of the reconstruction projects is short-sighted at best and socialist at worst. And we don't want that. Oh, that is a massive boost in stability. Still not great, but you know, it's a lot better than the negative 30 that we were at. Next up on here, advisory parliament. That's going to give me some political power, direct imperial prerogatives, even more political power. And then after that, curb state powers, which allows me to spend the political power that I literally gained from the previous thing. Fun. And now that all of my roads are built, I can go ahead and I can start constructing a whole bunch of civilian factories because we are going to need those. A monument to Our Lady of Seafarers. <laughs> Again, Again, only the grandest cathedral will do for the mother, of course. Wait, Our Lady of Seafarers is not only one of the most popular and venerated saints of Brazil, but also worshipped by African Brazilians as Yemoja, the queen of the waters in Yoruba legend. Pagan and Christian faithful meet and worship every year on February 2nd to honor her. However, she lacks a monument to her faithful worthy of her might. We must ensure that Our Lady is honored. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. We are, we are mixing Catholicism and paganism here. This is, uh... I mean, we're gonna end racism, okay? So we're gonna do that. And with actual stability, that means we can start producing things a good amount, which is exactly what we want. And with direct imperial prerogative, that's gonna give me 200 political power. But rather than uh, have me lose all my political power here, once this starts, I'm gonna go ahead and spend it first, just so I can get more ticking army experience. Duarte II marries a relative. Hey, Duarte II married today a member of the imperial family of Brazil and a distant relative, Maria Francisca de Bragan Bra 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 Braganca and a lavish wedding in Lisboa. The wedding, long planned by the houses of Braganca across the Atlantic, is the culmination of years of diplomacy, and the people of Portugal hope a royal heir will arrive soon. Wonderful. All right, decree of dissolution. We are breaking apart all the other little states because there is no state but Brazil. And now that means I can make a beeline down here and protect the first Brazilians so I can actually protect the natives. I can safeguard African cultures, and then I can criminalize racist offenses. The elites of Brazil have long lived sheltered in uncaring lives, luxurating while mocking and ridiculing the less fortunate. These vultures, not content with merely enslaving good Christians, also believe themselves cut from a better cloth than the masses. None can be more equal than others in Brazil. Those who lack basic respect will face the might of imperial law. Holy shit. This is also going to give me a massive 50% boost to my population, and I already have, like, what, 40 million? 42 million people in my country. So that's going to give me massive boost to my growth. The FUNAI, the National Indian Foundation, will be an upgraded and revamped version of the former Indian Protection Service operate under close attention from his Imperial Majesty himself to protect the right of the natives to live their own lives. Unlike the Republicans who insisted on contacting the peoples of the forest, we will allow them to live their own lives in their way for isolation is the only protection from the foul diseases of the civilized world. They will live the way they had for a thousand years. It is not up to us to decide what is best for the people who have lived here long before us. You know what? You know what? That, that is some respectful shit right there. That is some respectful shit. That's what we're doing. Alright, with racism now criminalized, 
Because that means I can do true municipalitum, which is going to increase my infrastructure, and I can start boosting myself down all these sides, right? No, wait, oh, this is going to give me a military slot. I actually want that first. Christian trade, Christian trade units. Wait, what? <laughs> well, we have taken the much needed measures to combat syndicalism. We should not forbid our workers to associate themselves in trade unions, for we as a society must foster good relations with our brothers of trade. However, they will no longer be cults of marks, but rather places where the soul can find peace. I'm dismantling the trade unions and I'm turning them into churches. They're still trade unions. They will still protect workers, but through the lens of God. I am loving this. Especially since all the syndicalists are going to be purged here first. That is, um, wow, that is some art. A specter is haunting the world. The specter of syndicalism. Thankfully, such ill spirits all fear the cross and what it stands for. Truth, justice, and the Brazilian way of life. That's right. The king of Patagonia arrives in Rio. Antonio, the king of Patagonia arrives in Rio today, fresh from France, on request from our government. We seek his aid on important matters regarding the Mapuche and their status in the republics to the south. Okay. True education. For decades, the so-called intellectuals of the republic have been polluting school books with propaganda, fake history, and slander against the imperial house. We must not allow this farce to go on for any longer as these pseudo-Marxist books shall be put where they belong, away from schools. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Fake news. I still love how anti-racism legislation, Brazil now has the most robust anti-racism legislation of the world and spouting a slur against a fellow citizen is not something tolerable. We are all equal under God and emperor and think otherwise, or and to think otherwise, is treason. <laughs> Holy shit. Shit. That is that is amazing. I love it. The king of Patagonia begs us to save the Mapuche. The king of Patagonia, Antoine, shocked the general public of Brazil and his tales of brutality against his people. The Mapuche, which were actually, they're, they're an incredibly badass tribe. A proud people who were never beat on open battle were being enslaved by the Castilian invaders. These outrageous claims have drummed up support for an intervention to restore Antoine to his throne. We will punish these barbarians who are destroying his proud people. Oh my God. Well, let's do it, buddy. And yeah, the tribes break free the Germans. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yep, and now the M Russians are marching on Germany. Okay, well, that is happening. February 1939, were they already... They were not at war with the French yet. Okay. <laughs> Docking rights from the Russian state. Sure, why not? I love how we've seen the brown shirts, the black shirts, the blue shirts, a lot of varying different colors of shirts, and now Brazil has the imperial green shirts, the green guards. We're organizing the children into paramilitary groups. Lovely. Next up on here, renewed title grants because who doesn't love a good old Duke? You know, that seems like a nice thing. We could probably seriously role play by actually naming some units like after like royal households or some shit. That could be fun. Synagogue attacked in Porto Alegre. An incident sparked immense controversy today in a traditional Jewish neighborhood in Porto Alegre, quite near the city center. A synagogue was burnt down by a group of arsonists last night who then bragged about how they would cleanse the city from the trickery and deceit. However, the vast majority of citizens and integralists were appalled by the act as that is a tangible show of the great rift between the anti-Semites and the integralists in the current AIB politics. In the end, this could be the catalyst incident that decides whether such views will prosper or not in the new Brazil. No, punish these traitors. No, screw these guys. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, all equal under God, remember. And with organic empire done, that means we can do several things. What is this? Safeguard the Guarani peoples. Paraguay is fully independent. Independent, independent. What, what, what happened to, oh, it's a puppet. Wait, who is a Paraguay a puppet of? Argentina, interesting. So I can't do that. The burden we, oh my God, no. What, no, 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 no. That, that, that's a reference. Okay, that is, <laughs> please don't be a white man's burden thing, please. It's not a light burden that to take up the mission to civilize the Germans took it from their own personal glory. All Protestants care more for profit than any true virtue, after all. Their colossal failure of a colonial enterprise puts millions of souls at risk, and it's our duty as a civilized nation to help end this madness with our fellow friends in the continent. We will seek new opportunities to expand our influence on the dark continent. Oh my freaking God. Okay, well, either way, what can we do? Cis Alpatina, cancel guarantee independence with Uruguay. Uruguay gets event to the Brazilian demands and then rescue the Mapuche people. Yeah, y you know what? You know what? <laughs> I guess that's what we're doing. Let's go for it. Racist syndicalist group arrested. Yes, beautiful. Good riddance to them. That puts us at 100% stability. That is exactly what we wanted. The German Japanese were, dude, why? <laughs> why is Germany is getting absolutely screwed this game for what I can see. Yeah, the world is, yeah, Germany has been at war. I, I know that France is now attacking them from this side and they are 
gonna be absolutely screwed. All right, Cisplatina is done. That should be sending them a demand. Uruguay, what are you gonna say? What are you gonna do? I got my troops massed on your border. Uruguay has refused. Well, then war it is. Are they protected by anybody? Nope, they only have trade agreements. Well, there it goes. Yeah, we're gonna crush them. And then after that, what can we do? This was rescue the Mapuche people. No, nope. Imperial Splendor, Imperial Tenacity. Ooh, that's gonna be great for us. Yeah, let's do that and boost our war support. And there we go. Uruguay gone. You are mine. Yoink, go ahead and take you. Take all of your Navy, because I don't think you deserve to have one of those. And you can exist within me now. Thank you. Awesome. Now we have the option for the fate of Uruguay. What are we going to do? Liberate Uruguay under a friendly government or military occupation is the only answer. Well, friendly government, I guess. I, I, I guess that's what we have to do. Now the Patagonian Workers Front. Nope, still cannot do that here. Okay, well, I guess that means we're moving on to the burden we bear. I can't believe I'm doing this. I also can't believe that Argentina is actually holding out against uh, against Patagonia. All right, with the burden we bear done, is that going to give me more decisions, more things that I can do? I can join the Entente. Is there not anything else? A Togo, Republic of West Africa is fully independent. Rescue the slave state from chaos. The Nigerian free state, the lands of the old coast of the slaves from where hailed the ancestors of many Brazilians have fallen into anarchy as the weak Germans cannot perform the basic state functions. We must send aid and establish trade with the newly arisen states as we establish a foothold of influence in what is the motherland of many of our people. Okay, then. Now, aid. Are, oh, wait, wait, wait. Kingdom of Portugal gained Brazilian aid. Send a thousand infantry equipment to the King of Brazil. Old one go first. Gets event the fate of the Lusitanian integralist movement in the face of the dual monarchy. And then holy struggle. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Nigerian Free State agrees. Hey, that's going to give you minus 10% consumer goods. That is awesome. Thank you, Nigerian Free State. Fate of the Lusitanian integralist movement to the face of the dual monarchy. With both Portugal and Brazil now falling under the God-blessed system of the Lusitanian and integralism, many have suggested that our two sister crowns come together as one in a cooperative government under the two equal crowns, uniting the Lusophone sphere under a dual monarchy heated by our royal houses of our two equal nations for the good of all true Christians in our sphere, yes. Though this would likely be a logistical nightmare to pull off, the peaceful unification of Brazil and Portugal is well within our reach if we simply reach for it. Alternatively, we could pursue a more true tr tr truncated form of the dream, keeping separate states but uniting by a singular purpose, or we could just abandon the insane plan altogether. What are we going to do? Unite the governments under a dual throne. Empire of Brazil annexes the kingdom of Portugal. Subjugate the regime and grant them fleeting autonomy. Become a puppet. Work hand in hand with our brethren. Okay, this only guarantees them. Ignore this pretender throne. Uh, unite, no, unite the governments, right? We get to take over all that. Who, who are they at war with? They're at war with, oh my God, they're at war with everyone over on this side. Okay, we will unite the two governments under a dual throne and that will allow me to annex and get a core on your Uruguay. Perfect. You know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Oh my God, that drastically boosted up our economy. Are you kidding me? We are so much more powerful now. Whoa, wait a minute. When the hell did Canada, <laughs> Canada invade Venezuela? What? Okay. The fate of Angola, the fate of... Wait, what? Oh, can I not do any of these? Form the state of Cape Verdena. Oh. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm creating a bunch of free puppet African states. I'm freeing the African people. Dude, we're definitely doing that. Angola? Form the state of Angola, of course. The fate of Mozambique? The end of the war in Portugal. For good or ill, the war in Portugal is now over and our surviving volunteers have returned to the United Empire of Portugal, Brazil, and the Algraves. The general staff reports that we learned many valuable lessons regarding the nature of modern warfare. Hey, hey, okay. Okay, that's pretty nice. That's pretty good. Lost a lot of my steel here, but you know what? That, that's fine. And at least with military science, that means we can get a research slot. Is all this still not done? Listen, I got options here to liberate Patagonia from the Patagonian workers and whatnot, um, and I can't do that if Argentina exists. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to start justifying on you. That means you'll end up moving a lot of your troops across the border in order to try to defend against me. And as you try to do that, that means that, uh, yeah, the Patagonian workers are going to get the option to kill you. Listen, I'm sorry. It has to be done. Oh, wait, isn't a faction with the Kingdom of Portugal is at war with the Commune of France? Oh, okay. I can only do this if I'm in a faction with the Kingdom of Portugal. Okay. <laughs> that would have that given me 15% war support if I got this. Uh, you know what? It's fine. Looks like I'm actually quite limited in comparison for what I can do. I just have a really powerful military now to mess with things. Time to switch some things up and make some Brazilian boomers. I find that name hilarious.
expand the carnival funding, perhaps the greatest party on the continent. Carnival in Brazil is celebrated in many different ways across the nation. Several cities have requested additional funding for the festivities, something that will no doubt improve the quality of the celebrations. Seems wasteful. Why not? 40 days is an awful long time, and nobody's made of iron. Let's do it. Party it up, people. Now, there's my justification, which means, uh, yeah, Argentina, goodbye. Goodbye. All right, there's general staff that is done. The needs of, ooh, industry. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get that bonus. And we're just gonna sweep through Argentina here now at this point. Yeah, that's fine. And I wait, hold on. I don't have a superior fire. I went down superior firepower. You're telling me that I don't have an option within my thing in order to be able to do a superior firepower focus? It's either mass assault or great battle plan. Well, I mean, listen, if we're if we're not racist, then I mean, mass, mass assault seems like the greatest use of our lives. Not one step back. Ooh, war support, okay. Fatherland volunteers, A, more recruitable population and division recovery rate actually that's nice for oh my god division attrition minus 10 percent supply consumption dude this is incredibly powerful way better than planning staff i'm going down mass assault even if i'm not using that i'm still going to get the bonuses to be able to fight with oh, oh oh hey 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 and now i share a border i can liberate patagonia from the patagonian workers front yes i can still declare war on them let's do it <laughs> just throw paraguay gone boom that's collapsed now keep on moving in. And the Argentina national state collapses. Beautiful. We're able to seize a whole bunch of stuff. Not exactly much, but you know what? We can at least seize some of this. And we seize the entire Argentina Navy, or at least most of it. You know what? Beautiful. Reorganize the lines and get ready for a push into the territory over here. All right, let's go. And just like that, they fall immediately. It is that easy. Now to decide what to do with everything. I feel like in this situation, I could liberate loyal puppets, but you know, I, 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 I can afford some stability and war support loss. You know, that's fine. Because now we justify on Bolivia and perhaps also Peru. Serbia forms Yugoslavia. Whoa, hold up. Hold up. I've not actually seen that happen here before. What? Did they break away from Austria? Did they? They are allied with Romania. Oh my Lord. I have not seen that happen. And as the market liberals too, that's impressive. The CSN who, as we attempt to build our own steel mill from the ground up. Dude, I've already been building an empire. What are you talking about? A steel mill? We should start by gathering large quantities of capital. I could, no, I don't need the German empire, Canada. I can pay for it myself. Well, I say that, but I also probably stole the wealth from basically everyone else around me, to be fair. And there's my war goal on Bolivia. Let's go ahead and go after you now. And we'll just sweep in through the countryside. And Bolivia falls. Beautiful. That means you are done. Yoink. And just in time because the justification is finished too. I'm going after you now. Uh, as for what to do about Bolivia, uh, military occupation is the only answer really. Come on. Because now I got the option to send in the army. Just keep on doing what we can to boost our stability. It's perfectly okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Stop the attacks. These are not working. We're basically going to be throwing away our lives. Yeah, we're throwing away our men's lives here, fighting in the mountains of Peru. Not fun. Oof. Okay. I'm losing a lot of men here trying to take this spot. This is not going to work out well for me, it seems. There we go. Okay. Keep on pushing. We're going to lose a lot of men. 142,000. Holy shit. Okay. Stop it, please. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that cost way more lives here than I probably wanted, but you know, at least it, at least it's done. Let's go, Ecuador. All right, Ecuador. Goodbye to you. At least that's what I wanted to say, but holy shit, how many forts do you have built up here? Am I going to burn through my entire supply of manpower just trying to fix Brazil's rightful place in this damn country? Just fine. Colombia next. Oh my God, we are still grinding. They'll war goal until what? 15th of April? Come on. We just need to take this. Oh, there we go. Okay. And Ecuador. Ecuador finally, finally gone. Okay. That's, um, that's been taking a while. Wait, what was that about Berlin? Oh, oh my God. The German empire is getting killed. Oh, <laughs> they're finally falling. Okay. All right. Well, it's time that we finish things up over here. Wait, they've called in Venezuela as their, are they guaranteed? No, they're just in the same faction. <laughs> Oh, well, that's fun. Yeah, yeah, uh, it looks like I'm helping Canada here for whatever reason. And Columbia Falls, yoink, that's done. And there's the collapse of the Reich's Pact. Okay, that finally happens. That means that everything in Europe here, <laughs> oh yeah, Germany is uh, falling apart as Russia's expanding into everything. Okay, so there's that. Um, Japan is invading Canada, so that's fun. And the only thing left that I have to take down here is actually this little territory that for whatever reason is still occupied by Canada. Well, is there even anything for me to do over here? I can't exactly take on Canada and reach it it's oh my god okay they're, they're, they're starting to fight back japan all right that's gonna be a little bit of a problem we probably need to um make our way south am i gonna have to invade i have to invade the united states well we're freeing them one way or another i guess let's do it 
I suppose. Eddie boy, Eddie, Eddie, please, please, please stop looking at me with such judgment. Yep, there's the war goal. That is now complete. Let's fucking go for it. Let's go. Everyone is being called in against us here. That is perfectly fine. All right, now we're going to justify on Central America. Go ahead and get that one done. Why? Why is that still going to take 125 days? Shouldn't Canada be a major power? Come on, let me attack faster. And there's Panama. Okay, Panama done. They're capitulated. And there's Costa Rica. Okay, beautiful. We are making our way through here nice and strong. I just need to get through Central America. Then I'm going to need to get up here to Mexico. And then how, how, how long until I can actually do this? Like a hundred more. Great. This will take a while. There it goes. Rio San Juan for the Empire of Portugal and Brazil is done. Go. Go, my brothers. Let's do this. As soon as, as, soon as that is done, also justify... Wait, am I... I'm also at war with... Me when did I go to war with Mexico? I mean, I'll take it. That's actually what my plan was here in the first place. But still, it's time for me to go down to war economy. Go ahead and get that done. And also on this, I should stop trading away all my resources. I'm going to go to limited exports and extensive conscription. We're going to need as much manpower in here as possible because I'm going to have to convert all of these units. Oh, wait, I already hit the button. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Now yeah, we're just going to push on through here. South America rises, my bros. We got this. Oh my God, I am losing so many men. Oh, wait, 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 where am I? 41,000 already, but you know what? It's fine. We are, we are, it is well worth it. We got this. Because there is Costa America done. And here we go, Mexico. The battle of the languages. Spanish versus Portuguese. Or should I say New Brazilian? I know I have a number of Portuguese people who watch my, uh, watch, watch my videos and that probably pissed off a lot of them right there. Let's go. There we go. More surrounded, killed. We are making our way here through Mexico. Nothing is appearing on this side. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. And the American Union state is still trying to deal with the Pacific state of the union. Let's see. Oh, oh my God. I'm running out of, how am I running out of artillery? Oh my God. I didn't change. I didn't change this over. No wonder all these places I've been occupying has been a problem. Yeah. That gave me back so much manpower there immediately. And also a whole bunch of artillery that I'm no longer wasting. Dear God. And there is the United Mexican states. All that is done. We've taken Central America. We've taken all this. Pacific state. Wow. Pacific states. Try to take all this territory, huh? Oh, wait. You're not actually trying to take anything. Okay. Well, I guess that just means I get to take all of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thank you. I guess. Uh, yoink. The fall of Sacramento. No, 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 no. We can't, we can't have them reach this. We can't have them take out the Pacific. If they take out the Pacific, it's going to be a problem. And that's why we're going to claim Florida. Hopefully that'll make the Americans withdraw a bunch of their troops and place them onto my border. That should not be a problem. Do I want, uh, I don't want to hurt my stability and other stuff here anymore. Like th this is still technically a problem and I don't want to have to garrison all this. Actually, no, this would, this would only make me lose one. Okay. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll military occupy. That's fine. Naval and Oh, hey, look, they naval invaded down here. Isn't that adorable? They're still pouring even more troops into here. Why? Why, why would you do this? Oh my God, they're just throwing themselves in here. Yep, yeah, you know, I will let you burn through all of your equipment, just throwing, what, what is the strategy, Canada? Genuinely, what is, what is the strategy here? There's the justification on Florida, that is done. Oh my God, okay, wait, that is, that is actually a lot more troops than I anticipated here. Hopefully, hopefully though we can do this. Are they gonna throw themselves at me or do I have to throw myself at you? No, we're actually still anticipating, oh, it's mostly militia forces. All right, well, you know what? We're doing it, baby. Okay, this is uh, th th this is a little bit of a push here. It's a bit of a mixed bag. Let's try to hold off here and replenish a little bit. Tommy to France took 70 states. Oh my God, that is a lot. Italian Empire is reunited. Okay, that's something over here. And yeah, it looks like it's the communist. Yep. Yep, the communists are reorganizing themselves over here. There we go. Keep on trapping the units. We just need to steadily move in here and take out as many of these as possible. The more that we can, the better it is for us. Because it looks like, oh, the Pacific states are actually pushing them. Okay, that's going to spread their line. And that means I can push. Okay, yes, the United States may outnumber us, but they simultaneously have a huge border here that they're not going to necessarily be able to maintain. Service by requirement. We're going to get as many men out here as we can. The Red Pope, with Rome and the Vatican now controlled by the Socialist Republic of Italy. The Sindicalist government has forced the Vatican to elect a new Pope. The Socialist Cardinal. What? Well, now that we are spread out along this entire line, hopefully this means the U.S. will continue to attack me, drain their economy, drain their resources, use all their weapons. In the meantime, we will slowly build up another military here that we're going to be able to use in order to be able to push them out further. And can Canada is still throwing its troops at me here continuously. That that's lovely. Wait, are you are you genuinely over here invade? Wow. You know, you try to do nice things and people just continuously disappoint you. Here we go. Move on in. Canadian opera captured. I don't care. Just keep on pushing through. We can push through the mountains. We can surround all these units. We surround their units. We will wipe them out further. There we go. There's a whole big batch of them. No, 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 no. New England, you are not sending forces down in here. Uh-uh. 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 I am just now managing to fix this shit down here. 
here. So sure. Wait, whoa, 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 what do you mean the fall of Rome? What happened? It was so peaceful over here. Oh, the Russian. Yeah, yeah, of course the Russians happened. Oh my God, the Russians are taking over everything. And there we go, finally. Oh my God, they had no equipment left. They had nothing. And I, I actually took a lot of war score. Uh, you know what? You know what? I think, I think that Brazil deserves this. I think that we deserve our own golden coast. Thank you very much. Yep, that is satisfactory, I think. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's finish this thing off. Fall of Boston, finally. I should have been done with this hours ago. Every time I play Kaiser Redux, I'm like, oh my God, this is taking forever. I need to not do this anymore. And then I remember that I promised that I would do an A to Z. And then I cry, I cry, I cry a lot. Don't get me wrong, it's fun, but my God, I just want this to be over. And they continuously keep on recruiting troops. Italy united, again, again. Oh my God, Russia. Dominion of Alaska was, what do you mean? Dominion of Alaska was, oh my God, wait, no, no. What, what, what just happened? Pacific victory in the civil war. No, 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 no. Why? I was this close to capitulating Canada. Why, you bastards? You isolated my entire army in Northern fucking Canada. In Northern fact. I'm done. Okay. You know what? It's a victory. I don't care. I don't fucking care, man. It's over. I did it. Brazil wins. Fuck you, California. Fuck you. I really do hate scripted peace deals. They're one of the most annoying and Oh, they're most, some of the most bullshit things in this game. It really is. Either way, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. This has been Stakui with another Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough in our continuation of the Kaiser Redux A to Z, which I love so much. Genuinely, this is one of the biggest, greatest, and most fun mods, but there are certain aspects about it, like this, that <laughs> uh, make me want to die. I appreciate all of you. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, my friends.